Back with more Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, and now we're on World 2 of 5. You're telling me that there's a goddamn water level in the Mario dancing game? <laughs> Consequently, Water Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> Is this going to be Kingdom Hearts 2? Dance Dance Revolution would be really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> there's Kojima. We found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Stefan, you did you didn't tell me we were going to watch Fresh Prince. <laughs> Give me savage. No. What's a goomba? What's a what's a what's a goomba? <laughs> Toad has a concussion. <laughs> look, look at the big lump on his fucking head. That's a penis. <laughs> Don't talk to Toad at that way. <laughs> Although somebody did some terrible Nobody things to that. Nobody wants to vacation in a corkscrew. <laughs> You underestimate most of Europe. Those stars would be some painful tattoos, too. What the, what the fuck, Stefan? Because <laughs> Europe has a lot of weird-shaped buildings. Your face is a weird-shaped building. Don't disrespect my people. <laughs> Got him! <'em. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Italian. You're Canadian. You have no culture. Shut up. You're Italian. Everybody who's Canadian has only ever been Canadian. <laughs> yes. Even even the, the people who say they're French Canadian just want to sound cool. <laughs> Look at that hand movement. So majestic. I really want I really want Tedet to come out here and just be like, Stop dancing and fix the building! <laughs> <laughs> I like how it sounded like you said Tedet, so I had this image of Ted in a wig. Coming out of the <laughs> tube to, to berate us because we're dancing too much. That sounds so, like him. So, uh, I, I have the audio fair, fairly low. Um, so, is every track a remix of, of a Mario tune? For the most part. There are a couple, like, remixes of things that I didn't recognize. Like, last part, there was, like, this remix of something from Carmen. And I have no idea what that is. But, like, so, like this one is a remix from Mario 3. There's one from Mario 1. There's a couple remixes from the Mario Kart games and the, Mar the other Mario parties. So it's like, yeah, most majority of them are like really like kind of like techno techno remixes of Mario songs. Is it bad that I'm kind of enjoying them though? <laughs> they're, they're actually yeah, they are really good. I'm I'm just making sure that I'm not crazy like <laughs> as far as the stuff's concerned because I actually am enjoying the music. What track? What track from three is this? I'm trying to. I believe what did it say? It just said it's the. the it's level three of the uh, Super Mario three, like not World three, but like it, the theme that plays in that that place. Oh, okay, because it doesn't... You know. It... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Then... Yeah, that's the, that was the remix. I'm going tone that thing, because I could I not place that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I, c I couldn't get it either. I like Look how me that. singing it was better than the game. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like how the, the kind of... Uh, uh, stylish font choice that they've made made it look like Luigi scored 8. Just did not B. I hate this ranking system because if you get, if you get everything perfect, you get an A, but if you get one wrong, if you miss one, you get a B. Like, you can get everything That's else perfect, get. but if you get if miss one, you get a B. Just like in real life. So in the the first game that was on uh, a console, it was called Konomics, believe it or not, uh, Dance Dance Revolution game, and either you got every note or you got a B or less, and so like... If it was, which was terrible. It was a terrible grading system. I don't know why they kept it for as for that game. Thought, but, I thought we so all like, knew that S rank is the perfect rank. Well, not not in that first game. So I don't know why they went. Back. Well, this game was what 2001. This was 2000. This game is 2005. This is, wow. I don't know why they went back to that then. That makes zero zero sense. It's Konami. What do you expect? <laughs> My, uh, wow. my my big thing is because this is Konami, I'm I'm very surprised that there's no erotic violence in this game. <laughs> Didn't Konami also do that Luigi's Mansion uh, arcade game? Mm, I think that I think, I think that was Sega actually. I believe I believe when I no that I think that was Cap it was Capcom yeah no it was yeah it was Nintendo it was Sega and Capcom all Capcom. made that. Yeah, could have sworn they, they Konami did something else with uh, <laughs> they did something else with Mario. 
they they might have helped with some of the arcade ports for the, the Mario Kart arcade game. Right. I think I think it was either Konami or maybe Band. No, I think that might be Bandai. This um, shit who is can. bananas. B a n a n a b q l e f p t. Again, these are just fucking Pokemon Stadium mini games. I just want to play Pokemon Stadium now. No one's ever said that before, so. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? With, what's wrong with Pokemon Stadium? It's when I was in a, a young Poke person. It was when amazing. I was a young Poke person. <laughs> it was fine, but it's it's kind of boring now. The, the the mini games are pretty fun. I mean, yeah, I would I would just play the mini games. I wouldn't fucking play yeah, the mean, battle mode. That's that's uh, that's pretty much our go-to whenever my friends and I are drinking. <laughs> GJ, well, you have I, no friends. If That's you're if true. you're playing, well, if you're playing with someone, then the battle mode is like if you're actually like fighting against someone, then the battle mode is fun. But if you're playing by yourself, then the battle mode's really boring. I I don't know. I I always I, at least once a day I play with myself in battle mode, and it's always fun. I'd much rather do that link cable thing. No, no, I mean the. What do you call it? The, I the, race. I race against myself to see who can finish first, and I always win. I mean, that's a great self-esteem builder, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you so you're beating that. your own Pokemon. Yes. I... <laughs> that's your whipping, that's your whipping arm. <laughs> I learned, I learned, I, as I learned from George Licker, discipline begets love. Now get on that couch. <laughs> Maybe now would be a good time to explain why Russ is here. <laughs> should, should I, should I, should I, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall for the bait. So you see, kids, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I was once a Jedi Knight of DDR, and now <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I like how you went for Shadow and not like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. But shameless plug, anything. go watch my. You can go watch my stuff on the Opaque Senator channel, and that's the me playing. So have fun. YouTube.com slash the Opaque Senator. <laughs> It's all Backslash. me. If you can, if you can find, if you can see me, because of my opaqueness. <laughs> Pirate Island. We're gonna be fishing. I mean, sure. I assume you could play this with the controller if you wanted to. You can. <laughs> Please tell me that's what you did. No, I didn't. I used the DDR pad. Proof for it didn't happen. Pictures, pictures for it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> St Stefan likes to play by the honor system. <laughs> I want to see how it worked. It, it was, it was very mixed. I'll be honest, I would have played one song and that would have been like, fuck this. I mean, it's a great way to get in shape, so. <laughs> I am sad no one pointed out what I did. Because Gareth's not here. I just didn't care. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ob obviously, this is not the song that was playing. But I had to. Because... <laughs> because oh, this isn't the actual song? It's shit, I no, have no it's idea. Big's, <laughs> it's Big's theme. Oh, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I was like, what is it? Where is this in Mario? I don't know this song. <laughs> this is I a pretty like, good remix, because like I, can't even, I can't even remember it. <laughs> I was waiting for Gareth to say something, and there was silence, so I'm like, oh, this is the silence of him judging me. But nope. <laughs> no. I did. I know. I apologize. I I just had had a brain scratch moment where my uh, internet crapped out. But Stefan, when you listen back to my audio, there will be audio of me laughing <laughs> at this edit. So good job. I'm proud of you. Good. Trouble for day. You know, for the longest time to go off on a tangent on on this song, because what the fuck not? I thought <laughs> this was two people singing. Because uh, Ted Poley is able to do a good job of having like two distinct. Singing voices, I guess. So I, I thought for the longest time that, that this was two people. Mm. 
Hey TJ, we're we're on yep. a boat with pirates. Set sail for hey. DTR Mario. <laughs> <laughs> This is I'm the day you'll always remember is the day that you almost caught Captain Luigi. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 also, to, to pull another uh, brain scratch flashback, what time are we at? Uh, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Dancing, don't give it up, Luigi. Dancing, don't give it up, Luigi. <laughs> Dancing, don't I think give that's it up, what Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> He's now in Luigi is now in Davy Jones's locker. I think I, I, I've seen that movie. I know what happens. <laughs> Are we gonna fight? Uh, I, you know oh, what? Oh, no, Spinies. You, you know what? I was gonna say something, but maybe we should wait until after this level, because something okay. happened that that's kind of right. What you said, <laughs> Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> I mean, I I, hope yeah, so. you'll you'll see. I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> oh man, I fuck, I fucking hate the gummy ships in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's dancing at the steering wheel, kind of. Like, why are we, why, why is there a dance thing happening right now at this? I, I kind of wish the ship would like be bobbing back and forth to the point where Toad's just like, I'm gonna be sick. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, so I take it if you if you step on the bombs, it hurts. Yeah. Keep back on the controls, you fucking moron! What are you doing? <laughs> he put it on it gives you it gives you an electric shock in the in the D-pad. He's got a song in his heart, and he can't help but dance. <laughs> I work hard for the money. So hard, so hard for, the money. for the money. Something, something, something. Come on, give me What's, lots of the honey. What song is this anyway? It sounds familiar. Uh, that I I forgot what it said. You'll we'll, we'll, we'll find out at the end. Gotcha. Why? You know what? It 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 does not sound like the underwater theme from Mario Bros. One. And why the fuck isn't it there? <laughs> it's a great question. I like how they introduce bombs. So the grading system, probably the best grading system I've seen for for dance games, is actually on Pump It Up. And literally, based on how well you do, you get a percentage all the way up to a hundred, zero to a hundred. And that's even includes like how well you hit the arrows. Perfect, great, good, and it goes all the way down to so flat out miss. Oh, you know, maybe I played Pump It Up then, because I seem to remember being graded and feeling bad at my score. So that was in the groove that did the percentage grading, and then oh. uh, Pump It Up is the one, it's five arrows, it's the four corners in the center. Oh. So if you guys watch my videos, that's the stuff I'm doing now, is the pump <laughs> stuff. Um, it's a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> it's, it's the Master Emerald. I thought I heard Big the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Froggy. Something's biting. <laughs> We really are in Davy Jones's locker. This is, yeah, because we're about to fight the Kraken. <laughs> Froggy. I don't speak I, squish. I, I don't speak. Where's the fucking Splatoon people when you need them? <laughs> they have. And thus Splatoon was born. We're, we're, we're still ten years before they were created yet. Blooper Bob. Oh, here now. Now I think this is the underwater theme. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought you said you never used the items. But I didn't. I, I I thought you were gonna select them, and I was about to call you a liar. You got lucky this time. This I get time, lucky gadgets. all the time. That's my life. Ooh, a little jazzy here. Ooh, fancy. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Not as good. I think was it was it? Smash Bros. Brawl that did that gave the underwater theme an like orchestral track. Yep. Cause that is ah, that's so fucking good. Ooh, I do like this though. I know the London Philharmonic Orchestra. They made like these two CDs where they did covers of, of various video game music, and one of them was a Mario medley, and like mm -hmm. one of the parts was the underwater theme, and that one was really good. There's another one. It's a Swedish. It was a Swedish orchestra that did a bunch. Mega Man, Legend of Zelda, a bunch of those. Uh, it was actually really good. And they even did my favorite actually from it though was uh, they did the uh, ending theme from Journey. Hmm. They had a lady come out and sing it all too, and like in all the different languages that they sing it. It was really beautiful. <laughs> nice. I, w I wonder if one of those CDs was when 
John Williams did his, uh, he adapted the Zelda theme. Oh, he did that? Yeah, it's, you know what, like, uh, I love John Williams, one of my favorite composers. Um, his, his version of Zelda, not, not the best. Not, it's slightly underwhelming. I mean, he, he is better at making stuff than copying something else. Like, he doesn't really tell, have... Tell that to is a Superman theme. Well, I said he would. Didn't he like? Well, he made the Superman theme. Okay, so this 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 might be complete internet scuttlebutt bullshit. But I've I've heard from people and read online that he kind of adapted, and by adapted I mean possibly stolen. Again, this this could be wrong, and I haven't bothered to look it up completely because I don't really care that much. But I've heard stories that he kind of just stole that from the navy. Like like there was like kind of like this navy theme. That is like the Superman theme, and, and this was like the pre-internet day, so I guess he was just like, "No, I'm gonna fucking no." Maybe, but I've never heard I of wrote, that. I I wrote Star Wars. Who's gonna fucking question me? Well, fucking no the other one. Too is in music, you can sample things. Like that is a legitimate practice. So pretty much anything by Will Smith has been sampled. So yeah, well, <laughs> from it's, somewhere. most it's, rappers. It's, it's it's also from what I understand, it's part of the reason why the Amer or it's why the American uh, release of Sonic CD had a different soundtrack because a couple I think it's like the boss theme sampled shit, and I think Sega of America um, or in Japan it's more common to do. That. I think Sega of America were like let's let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a safe bet. Yeah. Also, I believe it's also because um, they had. They had just spent money making a new studio, and so I think that they wanted to test it out. Nah, you failed. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, what just happened there? <laughs> I failed. I was trying to press the buttons, but I I don't know what I did wrong. You hmm. pressed the buttons wrong. Fair point. You played the game. That's what you did wrong. That is also a fair point. Shut up, TJ. Shut up, Ron. <laughs> It's the end. There is no more. Never ask me for anything ever again. What?